So one of the unique aspects of San Francisco are the cable cars. And here in San Francisco at the corner of Washington and Mason is the Cable Car Museum. Admission is free and they're open actually from 10 to 6 p.m. in the evening. It's a great place. We're here on a Sunday and there's just a bunch of people inside looking at the history behind cable cars. So definitely if you're in the city, check out um, the Cable Car Museum. We're now in the heart of the Cable Car Museum. And you can see you're looking down on the machinery that runs all the cable cars in San Francisco. Cable cars have no motors or power of their own. They're towed along tracks in the streets by moving cable. And with the steepness of some of the terrain in San Francisco, you can just imagine the power of these motors. This is the only operating cable system in the entire world. A historical note is that before the cable cars, horse-drawn cars were used for transportation in San Francisco. The horses were expensive to care for, couldn't climb many of the city hills as you can imagine, and because of the grueling work, lasted only a few years. An additional problem was the disposal of tons of horse manure in the streets, something you don't think about these days, but uh, you could imagine the amount of horse manure that was produced. The design of the continuously moving cable system was a welcome solution. Although very expensive to install, it provided faster, more frequent service with lower operating con costs in the long run. So we're now going to walk over and you can see this is a great area. Um, you got the engines going, you have actual machine down there to take care of any of the parts that um, may go awry. They have machines, um, machinery there to make the actual parts. We're now going to go over here and of course, like every single museum, they do have a gift shop. Cable Car Museum is a wall that commemorates the Great Earthquake and Fire of 1906. Um, it was April 18th and approximately at 5.12 a.m. the earthquake struck in a fury of equivalent of 6 million tons of TNT, 12 million tons impact of the 1945 atomic bomb that dropped on Hiroshima, um, took the city, shook the city and violently for 40 seconds and as a result of this a lot of the infrastructure that was put in place for the cable cars were destroyed. Some of the cable cars um, as shown in the city were reconstructed and uh, brought back to pre-earthquake state but it was definitely it marked the ending of the golden era for uh, the cable cars. Um, afterwards uh, the electric um, trolleys uh, took place as well. Uh, a lot of the different areas got rebuilt um, in the modernization of the city. 